Hi there, my name is Simon from the Ontario Science Centre. Today we'll be talking about constellations. Here's a group of stars. Some stars are a little brighter and some stars are a little dimmer. Let's try connecting the dots. What do you see? Oh yes, I definitely see a dog right over here. Oh, actually, you know what? I see a slice of pizza. Do you see that too? Yeah, that's maybe just me. All the known constellations or patterns in the sky were used by people in the past to tell stories that connected them to animals or characters. They even used these constellations to navigate the earth and also predict times to harvest their crops. We now use 88 different constellations to map out our night sky. Now, my favorite constellation is Orion the Hunter. It is a famous wintertime constellation and easily found. All you have to do is find three stars in a straight line, and that represents the hunter's belt. Now for the story, Orion was a strong and fearless hunter. All the animals were scared of Orion, except for one, one sneaky animal that has a big stinger on its back. That animal's name was Scorpius, and Scorpius was a scorpion. And the scorpion would chase Orion across the sky. And that is the Orion story. Now Orion is found in the wintertime. Opposite of that is actually Scorpius, the scorpion. You can find that in the summer sky. Now that we've learned a little bit of about constellations, why don't we make a constellation ourselves? To make a constellation, we need a few items from around the house. First off, we're going to start with a star finder. You can download this from the link below and print it off. I have a few constellations here and I'm going to pick my favorite, which is Orion for our uh, constellation today. I have a hanger to hang our constellation and I have some twine. You can use uh, fishing wire. You can use anything to hang your uh, constellation up. I have some toothpicks or you can use skewers. I have plasticine, but of course you can use Play-Doh or you can use, even use marshmallows. That'd be delicious. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to draw our favorite constellation onto a piece of paper. I have here my constellation of Orion. Remember the three stars in a straight line creating Orion's belts right over here. Uh, then you're going to take your plasticine or Play-Doh. I'm going to take the Play-Doh or the plasticine. In the case of marshmallows, you don't need to do this, but uh, try not to eat it. You're going to make a nice sphere to make your star today. So I'm going to first start off with this one right over here. I have the sphere right there. I'm going to put my star on that area. I have a couple that's pre-made, so I'm going to put them all down. Now that you've gotten your stars made, you are going to connect them with either the toothpicks or the skewers, just like connecting the stars or connecting the dots so that we can get our pattern. Uh, let's try this now. You can vary the size of the skewer or the toothpick so that you can fit on the stars. All right, now that you have your constellation made, you can take off the piece of paper. Make sure you give it a little extra pinch by this area so that they don't fall apart where the holes are. Bring your hanger in, and we're now going to hang our constellation. So take your string and tie a knot just right here. Now time to tie them down to the hanger. And there is Orion. Now it's your turn to try it at home. You can either make a known constellation or make up your own. Just like what I did, I made a little boat. Bye.